It was crazy. Stories from the cell. Now, I had this one old cat. My cell, I was, by, I was in the cell by myself. And he just came from the hole. He was arguing with a guard. Old school. He come into my cell. All he had was a box and a typewriter. And all he used to do was law work. And he used to do these crossword puzzles all the time on the top bunk. And one day, I walked in the cell from the yard. And he was like, how many minutes, youngin? You know, how many minutes was it? I ain't paying him no attention. He was doing life. But you would never think he was doing life because he was just a, a solid OG, just mind his business. And uh, I said, minutes? I'm at the sink washing my hands. I just come in from the yard. He said, how many minutes, man? He said, about, he said, I said, I give you probably like, I give you like three, four. I said, minutes for what? I don't know what the fuck. I'm there. You know, it's an OG. I don't know what he's talking about, but it sound is coming off deep. He said, how many minutes did it take? You know what I mean? For you to get, you know, get your residency here. I said, what you mean, man? Fucking residency. I don't know. He said, how many, how many minutes did you take to, to earn this, this, to stay? You, you, you know, you stay. I said, the fuck is you talking about? Minutes. So he said, wait, wait, you got your law? I said, yeah, I got my law work. I'm like, man. He said, let me show you something. Let me show you something. So I go. He said, where your case? I show him my case. He said, okay. You see these two? He said, this the police report. And this the police report. He took both of my police reports. And he said, okay. You robbed the joint at this time? They say you was in there for that long? Or you robbed this joint for this time? They say you was in there that long. He said, that's like, each of them is like two and a half. All together, that's like five minutes, man. He said, five minutes got you 20 years in prison? He said, five minutes. He said, five minutes. He said, man, you know, and, and, and that's long. He said, that's a long time. He said, if you would have shot somebody, it'd have been like one minute. You can know you could, you know, you probably could have lost your life for one minute. Cause he said, mine's ain't take that long. You see what I'm saying? He said, I stabbed him motherfucker, man. It wasn't no, it, man, it wasn't even no, I don't know how long it was. It wasn't no minute. He said, I stabbed the motherfucker a couple of times. He checked out. It wasn't even no minute. But five minutes. So I said, damn, it's, he jumped back on the bed, kept doing his crossword puzzles. And it fucked me up for a while. Cause I'm like, damn, I gave my life for five minutes. And I'm saying that to say to y'all, like, you'll be sitting up in a cell for the rest of your life about one move that lasted a minute. It only take one minute to shoot a gun. It's deep. I'm taking take one minute. So I'm sitting there. I did, I did 20 years in the joint for five minutes. Five mm -hmm. minutes is some bullshit. Could change your whole life forever. And, like, if you out there, I'm going to just say this to the people that want to hear it. Because, you know, you got a lot of dudes out there. You're all real niggas. This ain't for you because you probably don't want to hear this shit. OG tripping. But for those that's not sure about the direction you want to go and, and you loving your life and you just like, you feel as though you got to be making some moves or doing some shit that's outside of yourself in order to be accepted with whoever you're dealing with right now, I'm talking to you. It's five minutes versus your life? One minute? Is it worth? If it is, that's your thing. But if it ain't, you got to reroute. You got to you, you restructure your whole route, whatever direction you're going on, talk, and talk. get the fuck away from the people that you're around that got you thinking you got to be a real nigga in order to win. Being a real nigga is getting out there getting your education because I'm going to tell you something. For all the things, money I took, whatever I took, and you got a lot of cats out here, I ain't working at no motherfucking McDonald's. I ain't working here. I ain't working there. But what fucked me up is when I seen kingpins and dudes that used to run neighborhoods wiping the table in the kitchen for 30 cents an hour. But you got a lot of dudes out here, I ain't, man, I'm, I got to hustle. They ain't giving me enough money. But you'll go to jail and work your fucking ass off in the kitchen trying to steal some green peppers and onions and shit and sell them. Talk to them. Or some white gold, that's sugar. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just to that's sell it. Sugar. You know what I mean? That's white gold. You know what I'm saying? You in there trying to sling and bang with that shit, but you wasn't. You couldn't do this. Everybody too cool. Right. And then now we living in a time, you know, motherfuckers and got Hollywood, the, the PUA came. Now everybody, everybody didn't cap so much that he can't go back there living real life no more. Everybody got on Instagram. I got money. I'm the shit. I'm this. I'm that. I'm in. The, I'm on a yacht in Miami. To now, they can't even go back to the jobs they had because they didn't shit it on their on their employers. Uh, you know, they didn't cap so much. They now everybody hiding now. Uh -huh. They in the cut like oh, I ain't going. You they know. grams and slowed uh -huh. down, and nobody want to work, man. Mm -hmm. Stories from the cell.